Did DJI just release the most fun, most capable drone yet? Well, before we talk about the new DJI Spark, I do want to say that drones are more than just fun. They're useful in creating more interesting content, accessing angles and views you wouldn't otherwise be able to capture and share. I had a blast. Really felt like it upped the last video I did, the last travel video I did in Croatia using a DJI Mavic. Now this is true for photos or video, although on Croatia trip I was really focused on videos. I mean, they really open up some interesting possibilities, but they aren't cheap. They have been somewhat intimidating and have typically required a commitment to bring along with you, a whole nother pack usually. Now the DJI Mavic Pro made some big steps in solving that with this compact size and this little folding up and it still offers serious performance. Now with the newly announced DJI Spark it's clear they see a market for smaller cheaper and less intimidating drones. The size and weight of the Spark is impressive and while I didn't get sent a pre one I did look around my office my desk actually and the closest thing I could find that it was a similar weight was this two terabyte drive with a rubber duck taped on top. This equals almost exactly 300 grams or 0.66 pounds and that's what the DJI Spark weighs. It actually is very similar in size. For comparison, minus the propellers, this doesn't fly very well either. Now when com for comparison the Mavic Pro it is 1.66 pounds and noticeably larger even when folded and of course as I said this flies much better than a rubber duck taped to a hard drive. But let's hit a few more of those real specs. The DJI Spark offers a 16 minute fly time, shoots 1080 at 30 frames per second, and can capture 12 megapixel images, JPEG only. It uses a 25 millimeter f2.6 lens and the gimbal offers two axis stabilization. That's your roll and your pitch. Now the cost for that is 499, that includes the drone and a battery. You can control the Spark with your phone using the DJI app or gestures. And this is pretty cool. Using just touch and hand signals, the drone can take off from your hand, rotate around you, follow you, snap selfies or group shots. I'm not calling them groupies. And perform a few other prescribed routes. Now range of course is limited with the gestures and even with the app you're limited to less than 100 meters distance. By the Fly More combo for $699, you get the controller that gives you a 2,000 meter range. That's more than a mile. I think you'd be hard pressed to keep your eyes on something so small over a mile away. But it also includes an extra battery, charger, prop guards, and a carrying case. Now charging for the first time among these drones, this is done via USB and it really does help keep it portable, though charging it is slow at 80 minutes. The hub that is included with the Fly More combo gives a much faster charge time at just 52 minutes and that hub can actually charge more than one battery at a time, although that your charging times slow down the more batteries you have on there. Now let's compare this to the DJI Mavic, which offers somewhere between a 21 to 25 minute fly time in real conditions. It can record at 4K, 30 frames per second, as well as additional frame rates at lower resolutions, including some excellent slow-mo. It offers RAW or JPEG capture with a 28 millimeter f2.2 lens and has a three axis gimbal, roll, pitch, and yaw. The footage I've captured with this Mavic, I just, it's so buttery smooth. I just can't believe it. Everybody I showed it to, as they're watching it fly up there, they look down at the phone and see the footage. It feels like it's on a tripod. Now DJI has been great about that for a while. Even though the Spark is just a two axis, I think it's going to be just as close. Although in some movements or in some winds, the footage will probably be a little less smooth. Now speaking of wind, the Mavic states maximum of 24 miles per hour. Below that, you're fine for flying. Above that, they don't recommend. There's some people on YouTube that have found it to work higher than that. Now the Spark gets a max rating of 18 miles per hour and that makes sense because it's just a rubber duck. No, I mean, sorry, it's smaller with smaller props. It's not quite as powerful. Your range of course on the Mavic is significantly increased and with that additional fly time, I think you can feel safe in going further and higher and knowing your drone will return. I feel like I have to say a disclaimer. It's up to you to read the manual and make sure you know how far to fly the drone before it's going to be too far away and get back to you like that guy that flew it 
with a tailwind out over water. And when you turn it around, that tailwind becomes a serious headwind, and his drone didn't make it back. Now, you can fly the Mavic with just your phone, but the range is greatly limited, similar to the Spark. It's using Wi-Fi as well. And the Mavic does not offer gesture control. You can't do that cool force movement stuff, though you can do selfie shots and simple tracking. That's all $9.99. The Fly More combo gets you three batteries, a smart three battery charger, although that is sequential, not simultaneous, extra props, a carrying case, and a little doodad, sorry, it's back here, that goes on one of the end of the batteries and lets you turn the battery into a phone charger or charge anything via USB. So what should you get? A Mavic or a rubber duck taped to a hard drive? Well, I think DJI offers some nice differentiation here. I mean, if you're looking for ultra portable, fun, easy, the Spark's going to do the job. I just said on that recent video where I went over what I brought to Croatia, the best drone is the one that you have with you. And being able to always have something like this along, it's pretty sweet. But if you need to go higher, further, or want 4K, you should consider the Mavic. And if you don't really care about portability, you just want the best, I think that still is the Phantom 4 right now. You know, the Spark, getting tired of looking at this? I'm not really reminds me of the failed Lily drone. Remember that? It was on Kickstarter. It was that little drone. It's basically kind of this quick little toss it in the air for quick selfies, a video of you in action. Well, DJI took that failed idea and brought it to reality. And at $4.99, I think this is going to sell really well. Though I do suggest everyone should get the Fly More combo. 16-minute flight time and an 82-minute charge time really doesn't set you up for lots of fun. Having at least one extra battery is, in my opinion, mandatory. I've got more details and a complete spec comparison of the Mavic, the Phantom 4, and the Spark, all at photorec.tv slash spark. I'd love to know which drone you're most interested in and why. Is the Spark enough for you? Do you care about drones? Are you going to be annoyed that there are going to be lots more of these flying all over the place? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, give it a quick thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.